Good morning. Has everybody told their moms Happy Mother's Day? Did you tell your mom? Yeah. And are y'all being extra sweet to your moms today? So no fussing, maybe like really pamper her and be extra sweet. Can y'all do that today? Yeah. Okay, so today we're going to talk about something we talk about a lot at church, praying. Do y'all know a lot about praying? Yeah? No? Well, that's okay. Um, sometimes when you're praying, is it hard to know what to say? Is it kind of hard to figure out, like, what, what am I supposed to do now? Am I doing this right? Or maybe you're thinking, maybe somebody else is praying, and you don't really understand what they're saying or why they're saying it. Maybe you get a little distracted. Does that happen sometimes? Maybe every once in a while? So the good news is, I'm going to give you a secret that I learned as a grown-up. There's no wrong way to do it. Whatever you say, it's okay. So today, when we do the gospel lesson a little bit, we're going to talk about a really special prayer that Jesus did. So before Jesus was going to be crucified, he was, he was a little worried about his disciples. He knew that once he was gone, they were going to be really sad and probably a little scared. So he prayed to God. Jesus prayed for his disciples and said, God, protect them and God, be with them and, and keep them safe and give them some comfort. And throughout the Bible, we see Jesus prays for us, for everybody that believes in God. So that means he's prayed for you, and you, and you, and you, y'all too. So Jesus has prayed for all of us. So sometimes if we're scared or we're sad or anything like that, then we can pray. And we know that Jesus has prayed for us to keep us safe. Okay? Does anybody want to pray today? Thank you, God, for today. Thank you for Mother's Day. Thank you for all the mothers. Amen. Amen. Good job. How you doing? Good. Hey. Okay. Y'all are a good-looking group. Everybody good? Did you hug your mama today? Hug your mama. It's a Mother's Day. It's the best job in the world. It's a hard job, but it's a great job. Well, okay, I'm going to start it off, and I'm going to say some things, and you tell me what's the next thing, okay? One, two, three, four. Good. A, B, C, D, E. Good. Okay. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right, good. Okay, y'all are good at that. Well, that's, you knew what to say because there was an order to it that you knew the order, and it's a sequence of, of events. So you know how it's supposed to work out. Well, in our scripture today, we kind of get to listen in on Jesus saying his prayers, and he's praying for his disciples. And um, so God gives Jesus the words, the, he t the words to say and the prayers to say. He gets that from God. God shares that with his, I mean, Jesus shares that with his disciples and all of the people in his life. And then they go and share it with everybody, all their friends and family, and the people that they can influence, right? Well, this is 2,000 years later, and we're still talking about it. So the disciples did a very good job of spreading the word. They, <clears throat> the people they spread it to spread it even further. Somehow it got to your grandparents and my grandparents and our parents and our parents shared it with us and brought us to church to learn about God and the good news of God's love. So who's next in the line? Yeah, children or all of us, all ages. We are now part of that sequence. We're all invited to continue to share the good word of God's love and to, you do that kind of just by living your life, a life of kindness and grace to other people and share God's love with other people, okay? Um, is there anybody that would like to pray today? Okay. 
Dear God, thank you for the coming today. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Good morning. I'd like to invite the children up for children's moment. Good morning, everybody. How are y'all? Good. Y'all know what today is? Mother's Day. Did y'all wish y'all mothers happy Mother's Day? Yes. Well, let me ask y'all this. Do y'all know what this is? A maze. And can y'all tell me how you go through this maze? Looking at it really hard and then doing the lane that you picked. That's right. So in life, uh, so you always want to, there's a, a green dot and a red dot. And the red dot is where we start from. And we want to go to the green dot, which is, which is our exit. So, you know, the big thing is you can't cross through the lines, right? You got to go through the maze. And sometimes uh, when we go through that, you might find it difficult to get through the maze. And we, we end up at a dead end. And we got to back up. And then we got to go back and, and try to find the correct path. So it's just like the maze, finding our way uh, through life can sometimes be, be hard. So each day we have to make a choice, and we don't know which way to go. So sometimes we even choose the wrong path, and we have to back up and start over again. So can anybody tell me a time in which you had to back up and start over again? Homework. Homework. Anything else? Well, I can tell you there's times I have to back up and start again. Oh, here. Schoolwork. Schoolwork. So all the dads probably in here can agree. We like to do projects without reading directions. And you get to a point where, where's this up. piece? Uh, you messed up. Yep, you mess up. And you got to take half the boards off and start over. So... I've always had trouble with that. I, try, I think I can do it, but then I realize i got to go follow the directions. Well, Jesus knew that life in this world is difficult. That's why he prayed for his disciples when it was time for him to leave this world. He prayed to God, while I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe. No one was lost, but now I am coming to you, and I ask you to protect them and keep them safe. We, too, have guides to help us make our way through the maze of life. What y'all think is those guides? Yeah, yeah our Father. So God gives us the Bible and prayer as tools to help us through life. Life may not be easy, but, God, but with God leading the way, we know that we will never get lost. Anybody would like to pray? Bow your heads. God, as we search for the path that will lead us safely through this world, we place our trust in you and ask for your guidance and protection. And in addition, Lord, we just want to raise up all the mothers and mother figures today and that uh, we thank you for bringing them to our lives and all what they do each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray.